what I used to see as a kid. Yeah. That's a regular, that's a regular trail. Yeah. Defiling the motherfucker. He's all they defiling it with that particular one. That's how I used to look back in the day when I was a kid. Without it being all over the fucking earth, all over the air. Plus, you yeah, it'll disappear go, after a while. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Plus, when you go go to the airport and you see the planes taking off, you actually see the jet fuel, man. It's actually uh, uh, it's black. It looks like a when a truck take off. That black, it's a uh, jet fuel that burns off. It's black. That's up there. That's that's uh, the condensation. That's the condensation. Yeah. That's what I used to see as a kid. But now it's just fine. I ain't mean to interrupt you, man. It just, it just, no, just it, it just gave me a flashback. It's like, this is when I was a kid. But guess what? I wouldn't want to go back to that time because we close now. <laughs> that's that's right. right. Hey, that's the scripture says. Kind See, of. not that the former days was better, man. Right. That's very right. happy. It's the most exciting times, baby. <laughs> hey, but it says this that's the hope, man. So that's that's the hope, you know? Kind so of. was I have, actually having you hold something? Bob Kosha. Uh, this is the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 1. Because that's the faith, man. You know? It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not it says, in the counsel of ungodly. This is, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Uh -huh. It says, nor sitteth in the seats of the, score, uh, the, the scorn for. Uh -huh. This is, but. It says, but his delight is in the law of the of the Lord. Which is these scriptures, man. Right. I, the brother quoted earlier, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, because there's no light in them, man. Oh, yeah. This is what we delight in, man, the truth, man. Right. Go ahead. It says, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. Mm -hmm. It says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the river of water. It says that... that that bring it forth his fruit in his season. Exactly. He shall be that tree that's planted by rivers of living water, man. The water is this knowledge, man. And you that tree that's just that's soaking up all this, all, all of it, man. And you just growing and growing. That's how your face should be, man. Go ahead. His leaves also shall not uh, wither. Yep. It says... And, and what's Because his works, his leaves not withering, man. He producing, man. Can a brother get 1 Corinthians 15, uh, the last verse? I think it's like 58 or something like that. on his leaves. 1 Corinthians 15. Okay. You got it. This is the last verse. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. It says, Therefore, my brother, be ye steadfast, unmovable. 6 and 10. Always abounding in the works of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labors is not in vain in the Lord. Always abounding, man. That's that leaf never withering. You constantly, you constantly building. You know, your leaf is constantly green, man. Meaning you constantly uh, uh, producing. You constantly producing, man. It says, if I could finish it, do it. It says. It says, and what's and whatsoever he do it shall shall prosper. And whatsoever he do it shall prosper. Behold that. You got that? Yep. Is it says that uh the most high is not a righteous? Yep. It's Hebrews 6 and 10. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love, mm -hmm. which he has sh showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered which to he the saints. Shown toward his name. That's right. The name Damn, of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai, man? Go ahead. In that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And do minister, meaning you still going, man. Right. You're still doing it, man. You're praying to the Lord uh, and asking him to continue to use you as a vessel unto honor, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. You first there. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, this is verse 4. It says, the ungodly are not so. Ooh. The ungodly are not so, man. Hey. That first of all, because that's what we're talking about. Because all this goes back to Romans 10, where we, which, which is which we still hold. Because all this cometh by faith. And faith cometh by hearing. So we got to be out here teaching what, man? To stand firm. Because it goes back to Isaiah 33 and 6. Standing firm in that day, man. It all goes back because of uh, 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 this whole ass devil, man. <laughs> hey, 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 but all this edification needs to get brought out through the scriptures, man. To strengthen brothers and, and to confirm, you know. That, hey, this devil got to be exposed, man. All these things must happen, you know? Go ahead. This is, but, this is but, our, but our, like the calf, which which the wind driveth away. It says, therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in, in the judgment. See? The ungodly shall, shall not, not stand, stand in the judgment, man. That's right. That's right. That's what's going to happen, man. That's right. 
That's right. So, so, so where, where, where uh, they saw Ezra, Ezra was like, who are these that stood so firmly yep. for the Lord? Second Ezra, two. Yep. They ain't gonna be there. They are gonna have to be birthed in. That's a two third. Hey, shit, if you can't talk about Esau, what you got to stand firmly about, man? Like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Exactly. What, what's going to be there to prove your faith, man? We read Wisdom of Solomon 5. It says, you know, right. the righteous man shall stand boldly in the face of such as afflicted him. Exactly, man. So somebody read that scripture and be like, okay, who afflicted us? Who are we standing boldly against? I can't tell. I can't talk about it. It's <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. It's classified. It's classified. What? It's classified, right. Yeah, you okay. sh you shredded up so much stuff. I think I'm gonna go home and cook me some tacos. Use some shredded cheese. <laughs> uh, he shredded, man. Kind of says, uh, for the sinners in the congregations of the righteous. It says, for the Lord knoweth the way of of the righteous. It says, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. See. The Lord know the way of the righteous, man. Why? Because hey, he 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 planned it out for them, man, and they gonna follow it because they obedient. But my the rest of y'all, hey, like, like Pop just said, man, my sheep hear my voice. But the rest of y'all is disobedient. I believe that's Ephesians 2. Can a brother get that? So you still want to do Romans? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. You guys say you have Following with you. Romans chapter 12, verse 11. It says, Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love right. and honor, preferring one another, not slothful in business. Fervent in spirit. Now, where fervent means what? It says to boil with heat, to be hot. Use of water, use of boiling, anger, love, zeal for what is good. Fervent in spirit. It said a zeal what is good. And it said uh, not slothful in business, man. This is our first, this is our job foremost. Mm -hmm. So you can't be, you know what I'm saying? You can't be slacking, uh, slacking your work for the Lord. Yep. Our profession. We professing our profession. You know? Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation. Rejoicing in hope. Because that's the hope, man. And the more you and the more you in the word, the more you grow, the more you increase in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the more you increase in hope. Now it's a balance to it, the more you're gonna increase in sorrow too. Because he that increases in wisdom, increases in sorrow. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. But you know and understand that you got to suffer these things, second address, the seventh chapter, in order to get into the wide, man. So, hey, hey, we got to deal it. That's right. Because the suffering is at the present time is not worthy to be compared to what we're receiving, man. Having that tunnel vision, knowing what's ahead, man. That's right. Hey, like the uh, uh, the brothers did the, uh, the live show a couple of days ago in Dallas, man. Taking yourself out of the equation, man. Right. This truth is bigger than each and every uh, one of us, man. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, bro. You still, you still more like it. It says, uh, rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, continuing instantly in season. Yeah, it said patience in tribulation. So when you go, going back to Sirach, it said constantly endure, man. Mm -hmm. Don't, uh, what it say? Make not haste in a time of trouble. Yep. Hey, hey, but that comes with tribulation coming through patience. We read it in the Romans 5, man. In that experience, the Lord said you got to go to the council. Matter of fact, that's the Spirit brought it full circle. Isaiah 30. Yeah. And brother, get Isaiah 36 and 6. See how the Spirit cold, man. The spirit cold. Go ahead, bro. It says, disputing to the necessities of the saints, giving to hospitality. Bless, th bless them which persecute you. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one to another. Mind not high things, but con con condescend to the men of low estate. Be not wise in thy own consent. This is uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 12. It says, Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, right. that you obey, uh, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. So this is basically backing up the brother. Uh, he was saying, the, uh, uh, you got to take yourself out of this equation, man. Like, hey, man, you know, fuck, you know, fuck our will, man. Let Yahweh Hashem Shai's will be done, man. That's right. You know? So this is verse 13. It says, Neither yield your, your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, 
but yield yourselves unto Yahweh. you know, basically give yourself up as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto Yahweh, man. That's right. Hey, so you let your body, man, your arms, you know, hey, let, let it be for the use of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Yeah. Hey, so, 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 so fuck what we, you know, our will, man. Let Yahweh Bashim Shai be will be done, man. Yield yourself up to that, man. Submitting yourself. Sub submit yourself. That's Submitting the word yourself. I was looking for. Uh, uh, and how mm -hmm. can they learn that except through step? Uh, let me just finish two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Khan. Khan, no. Because, you know, it's leading up to the, because yeah, y'all building the point. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Khan, Khan. Verse 14, it says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. You know? And that goes back to uh, uh, 1 Peter, the fourth chapter, man. Arm yourselves likewise. Yahweh shall suffer in the flesh. Arm yourselves likewise. Because he that suffer in the flesh has ceased from sin, man. You know, God. so Rock tells you what uh, 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 to forsake your sins, pray to the Lord, and offend less. All oh, that's all we can do is offend less, man. Right. You know, so that's why we say keep the uh, uh, strive to the best of your ability. A just man falleth seven times, but hey, it says he get it back up again, man. But it said a wicked man falleth into mischief, man. You know. Second Edges, the 16th chapter, it says, "Let not your sins weigh you down, or let not your iniquities build up, man." King David said, I keep my sins ever before me. So, hey, hey, that keeps you humble, man. Knowing that you a piece of shit, that you fucked up, and we all need salvation, man. God, this is uh, Romans 10 and, uh, damn, well, in, uh, 14. It's like, it, this is what you want to read. Yeah, you start 13. 13? Yeah. It's like, this is uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 13. For whoso for whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahweh shall be saved. Uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Right, so it's saying whoever called on